Like any security solution, using a layered approach with client-side and server-side encryption offers the most privacy and protection. On the client side, mDaemon users can encrypt their email and attachments using Virtru. On the server side, mDaemon supports OpenPGP, which allows mDaemon to perform encryption, decryption, and key management tasks. Encrypting messages at the server level with OpenPGP has several benefits. Messages can be encrypted or decrypted for archiving purposes. Also, server-side encryption allows the encryption process to be automated. This allows administrators to prevent message storage in an unencrypted format. Inbound and outbound messages are encrypted automatically using the MDPGP options or via the content filter. Once encrypted, messages remain encrypted on the server unless mDaemon is configured to decrypt them. Server-side encryption also helps companies prevent data breaches by encrypting on the mail server without user interaction. Data remains encrypted to its destination. This eliminates issues where unencrypted sensitive data may be sent due to user error. And finally, encryption can help prevent HIPAA, FERPA, and other regulatory violations. Let me show you how easy OpenPGP is to use. First, we need to enable PGP in mDaemon. This is done via the security MDPGP menu. Simply check the box to enable MDPGP. The next step is to configure who can use PGP. You can check this box to authorize all mDaemon users to use MDPGP, or click on the button shown here and follow the instructions on your screen to allow encryption for specific users. For example, if I want to allow only frank.thomas.example.com to encrypt or decrypt mail, I would add an entry that looks like this. Before we talk about how to encrypt and decrypt mail, let's go over key management. MDPGP encrypts and decrypts email messages using a public key, private key system. To do this, when you want to use MDPGP to send a private and secure message, MDPGP will encrypt that message using a key that you previously obtained from that person, in other words, his public key, and import it into MDPGP. If he wishes to send a private message to you, then he must encrypt the message using your public key, which he obtained from you. Your unique public key must be used to encrypt the message because your unique private key is what MDPGP will use to decrypt the message when it arrives. Each user will have a public and private key pair. Email from local users will be encrypted if the recipient's public key is known and certain other qualifiers are true. Encrypted messages to local users will be decrypted using the local user's private key. These private and public keys can be created manually by the administrator or automatically. If you want public and private key pairs to be created automatically, then simply check this box on the MDPGP configuration screen. Automatic key creation is not recommended as it can be resource intensive. Click the button shown here to create keys for a specific user. This will create both a private and a public key for the user. These keys are stored on two separate local keychains. You can check this box to have public keys automatically emailed to local users. Your users can then send this public key to anyone they wish to receive encrypted email from. Now let's talk about how to import public keys of external users and how to export keys so that outside senders can send local mDaemon users encrypted mail. Public keys from external users can be imported automatically or manually. The easiest way to import someone's key automatically is to have him email you his key as an attachment in ASCII armored format and then forward that email to yourself using SMTP authentication. Keys can be imported manually by the administrator by simply clicking on the Import Keys button on the MDPGP configuration screen. You can also export keys, which can be sent to outside senders so that they can send you encrypted email. Keys can be exported by the mDaemon administrator or by the end user. On the MDPGP configuration screen, the administrator can right-click on the key owner entry and then select Export Key. You then have the option to email the public key to a specific email address. If an mDaemon user wishes to retrieve his own public key, he can do so by sending an email to himself and adding the pgpk command to the message subject, as shown here. He can then send this key as an attachment, and the recipient can then import this public key into his encryption software. This allows him to send encrypted mail to local mDaemon users. Other options available on the right-click drop-down menu allow you to delete or disable the key. Now that we've talked about how to configure who can use MDPGP and how to manage public and private keys, let's go over how to encrypt email messages. 
Messages can be encrypted automatically via the content filter or manually using a special command in the message subject. To configure encryption and decryption via the content filter, navigate to it via the security menu. Then click on New Rule. Specify your rule conditions or criteria in the left-hand column. Then check the appropriate boxes in the right-hand column. Whether encrypting with the user's public key or decrypting with the user's private key, be sure to click the links below to select the appropriate key. Then click on OK to confirm. Give your content filter rule a name, and then click on OK to save it. To encrypt messages manually, eligible users can simply add the PGP E tag at the beginning or end of the message subject. If PGP X is found at the start or end of the subject and encryption is not possible for any reason, the message is bounced back and is not delivered. Adding PGP K to the message subject will result in your public key on the key ring being emailed back to you. If you want someone else's key, you can use PGPK plus the email address like this. The options shown here allow you to sign email messages automatically if the sender's private key is known and encrypt mail automatically if the recipient's public key is known. When signing a message, you use your private key to sign the message and the recipient checks this signature against your public key to verify your identity. Private keys are protected at all times by a passphrase. This passphrase is used to encrypt and secure the private keys on the keyring. Even when private keys are exported from the keyring, they continue to be protected by that passphrase. Click on the Change Passphrase button if you'd like to change the passphrase. If you need to make a backup copy of all public and private keys, you can do so via the Backup Data Files button. OpenPGP allows companies to implement encryption policies at the server to ensure that confidential data is safe and that regulations such as HIPAA and FERPA are met. To learn more, go to www.altn.com, click on MDAMON Messaging Server under the Products tab, and then click on Email Encryption in the left-hand navigation menu. Or better yet, go to the Downloads menu and download your free trial of MDAMON today.